On this edition of the HGTV Morning Announcements, we have the semi-permanent closure of an ever-present fixture, a congratulatory cascade of compliments, and some dodgeball, I guess? The news starts now. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hello everyone, I'm the man with the plan Dallas, and I'm still recovering from Avengers Endgame, which in my opinion is the most dramatic movie of the year by far. And I am bad at making decisions. Anyways. For lunch today, on lines one and two, we will have Asian or Buffalo Bites. Line three is soup and salad bar with chili. Line four is popcorn shrimp and pizza wedge. Line five is closed. And a happy birthday goes out to Ariel Alcazeta and Alexa Mejia. Now to sports with Nick. Thanks, Mo. The varsity golf team traveled to Lebanon to participate in the annual Kent Franzen Invite Saturday morning. They joined a 16-team field containing seven of the top 20 ranked teams in the state. Sasha Perch led the dogs with a 79, along with Drew Grismer a 91, Reese Mitchell 104, and Cameron Caesar 108, resulting in a season-best 383 on a very tough, wet course. Both the boys' and girls' track teams brought home the Clinton County Meet Championship, completing the clean 4-0 sweep. There were several, event several events where the dogs took to the top two places. The individual champions include in the 100 and 200, Manny Garcia, in the 1600, Hugo Hernandez, in the boys 4x100, Jordan, Cantania, Michael, and Garcia, in shot put, Zeke Vandeventer, in the girls 4x800, Salih, Alanis, Guijosa Valdez, and Espedio, in the 100 and 300 hurdles, Nayeli Alanis, Christina Espedio in the 400, Karina Alanis in the 800, in the girls 4x400, Debris, Valdez, Ramey, and Alanis. Kenya Garcia in the discus, and to round out the crew, Ella Myers in the shot put. The next meet for both teams will be at Lebanon with Sheridan on Tuesday for one of the final tune-up meetings before the Sag Sagamore Conference meet. The Frankfurt Varsity softball team won the county tourney on Saturday, defeating Clinton Central by a score of 10-5 in the first round, and then defeating Clinton Prairie by a score of 12-7 in the championship game. Morgan Dean went six for eight on the day, with six runs and a triple. Avery Drew picked up both wins, pitching a total of eight innings, allowing five hits, five runs, and striking out five. On the other hand, Michaela Harper pitched six innings, allowing 10 hits, seven runs, and striking out eight. The varsity baseball team defeated North Montgomery on Friday by a score of 10-0. Christian Lopez made history, throwing a perfect game. Lopez, Wilkins, and Roger Angelis had two hits each in the win. On Saturday, the varsity team also defeated Clinton Central in the opening game of the county tournament. Brian Compton earned the win and Jose Valdez Sandoval picked up his fourth save, save of the season. In the championship game, the game was tied with Clinton Prairie by a score of 1-1 to when the game was called because of rain. Freshman Connor Boone pitched a scoreless inning of relief and had a big double in the seventh inning. The Dogs took home a share of the county title. That's all the sports on this Monday morning. Now back over to you, Dallas. Tomorrow is the last day to sign up to be a student ambassador in the office, so if you haven't signed up, then do so now. Ladies and gentlemen, this Friday will be the last day to purchase prom tickets, so if you want to purchase them, they will be in the bookstore as well as the permission slips. Would you like to play dodgeball? They come and complete, compete at the dodgeball fundraiser, the boys' tennis team, is organizing. Two dollars a person to play. There will be prizes, medals, and more. Get more info at the bookstore. Dodge that wrench. This Friday, May 3rd, will be the last day to check out new library books before the end of the school year. All library books will be due back by Friday, May 10th. Digital books will be available all summer. See Mrs. Willoughby if you have any questions. On Saturday, May 4th, head to the 4-H building at the fairgrounds for the 67th annual Kiwanis Pancake Breakfast. The breakfast takes place between 6.30 and 10 a.m. Tickets are $6 in advance and $7 at the door. Kids 5 and under get in for free. And as usual, if you're a senior and haven't picked up that cap and gown yet, then you should probably go ahead and do so. 
main office. And finally, thank you to the cast, crew, and Pitt for all of their hard work during the production of Leap of Faith. You all bettered the show in some way or another. And also, a big thank you to all of those who that came and watched. We couldn't have done it without you. Literally. Audience interaction was a nigh requirement. Now, if you'd like to see the show again, or if you didn't catch it already, you can check in the chatter where Wednesday's, Wednesday's show is, or you can check YouTube where Friday's show will be uploaded at some point unbeknownst to me. If you came and saw Saturday's performance, that's the one and only time you're gonna, going to see it. Regardless, I think you should at least watch Friday's show. That was the best night from my perspective, at least. That's it for this edition of HGTV. Please like and subscribe and watch for more news and updates while I leave you with this quote from Groot. I am Groot. Truly profound. Well, I'll leave you with a bit of advice. Do not, under any circumstances, eat a single Taco Bell taco with 14 packets of Diablo sauce on it. It's way too messy for your trouble and the payoff's pretty bad. With that knowledge, have a good day. Find yourself in the background, I guess.